Good morning students. Welcome to the statistics class. In the previous class, I was explaining to you about the components of time series. Time series data will have variations and uh, those variations are due to many factors. Those factors are all summed up and they are called as the components of time series. Those components of time series for us, they have given us four. Number one is called as trend. Number two is called as seasonal variation. Number three is called as cyclical variation or a business cycle. And number four is called irregular variation or random fluctuation. In the previous class, I have explained to you what is a trend. A long term movement, okay, a, a steady increase or decrease over the for a long term movement or for a long time in a time series, it is called as a trend. An upward it may be, increasing trend it may be, or decreasing trend it may be, or it may be a steady trend. Then I have explained to you also about the seasonal variation, regular, periodic and short term variations in a time series is called as seasonal variation, regular, periodic and short term variations taking place in a time series is called as seasonal variation. These seasonal variations are due to two factors, number one climatic and weather conditions and number two because of the customs, traditions and habits of the people. Because of these two factors in a time series data the variations will be huge. I explained to you what are this climatic and weather conditions these are by nature naturally we got it God has created it the seasons and uh, we have also customs and traditions of uh, uh, and habits of the people that we humans have created according to our uh, custom and according to our tradition and according to our habits. During these two things, you know, during these two kinds of, in these two factors, you know, the variations at a particular point of time will be high. Okay, this is what I have said. So the whole period of this seasonal variation is one year. I have explained to you with the examples. Now, let's uh, learn and study the third one which is called as a business cycle or a cyc business cycle or it is also called as cyclical variation. Any business students, any business okay, will have definitely highs and lows. Okay, highs and lows. It will form like a wave like structure. Right? It's, it's not like this. It's, a, it's, it's going high again it will come down. So prosperity will be there at the same time business also go to a depression. So this is often seen in many of the businesses and uh, when it is uh, uh, happening so it's like you know uh, a, a circular variation taking place. It's like an oscillatory variation taking place. So when it is like going on in a circular variation where it reaches one particular phase highs at one place and again starts to come down again go to a very low level and from there again come back. So this kind of uh, variations that takes place we call this to be as a business cycle or a cyc cyclical variation. Oscillatory variation taking place in time series right uh, in four stages like prosperity, recession and depression and recovery is called as cyclical variation oscillatory variation taking place in time series for example in four stages for example prosperity a recession depression and recovery is called as cyclical variation let me explain this to you with some illustrated example to you okay take for example we have opened up a business a new business and uh, everybody is now you know, looking at the business and that business is you are one of its kind you are doing it one of its kind in the whole of Hubli imagine you are doing it in your own city only one of you you are the only person who is doing that business okay and uh, since it is like a monopoly ma market or monopoly business 
definitely your business will flourish yes or no will flourish and you investment you have done that investment more than that investment you start to earn it's nothing but we call it as profit okay let me explain this to you in a simple graph okay right imagine you have invested some amount and when you invested some amount you got the same as it is take like for example we invested 1 crore in the business you invested 1 crore and you got it 1 crore what do you say is it a profit or it is a loss no profit no loss correct so it's going on same right so this side this state is called as a normal state students it is called as a normal state a steady state in the business your investment you put and the same amount you got it back you have not got 1 rupee profit nor you have lost even 1 rupee also okay so imagine now it's a monopoly market you are the only one and uh, you have invested and more than the investment you got your uh, revenues or profit so that is what we call it as and your prof your business is increasing and when the business is increasing we call this stage as a stage of prosperity a stage of prosperity you have invested and you have got some profits you are the only market you you are the only one who is doing that business okay fine now do you think that uh, in a day it happens in a week it happens in a month it happens no it takes a long time they said one year or one and a half year it takes to complete one stage of to reach that prosperity okay so now if you are not understanding the market if you are not looking into the demands of the customers and if you are not giving the services correctly in the business what happens will it prosper no the business comes down not only that if there is a competitor existing for it what happens your customers will stop coming and they will look out for the other business the other competitor so you will be receiving only just part some few of the customers here and few of the customers will go that means your business is starting to recede go down okay so when it starts to go down that stage is called as is called as a recession you had a chance to understand you never you have you had a chance to know the competitor never and you just left it like that so the business starts to recede and then even then also when your business is going down you still not bothered the competitor is going on highs with his business he is giving some offers the customers who are supposed to come to you they are diverted and they are going to that person and uh, the business of yours is going down you are not understanding it you are only just going on okay let it go as it is let it go as it is so a stage will come when the business of you will starts to go more down in other words even your investments whatever you have invested right will come but later on you will start incurring losses your business will start to lose okay so when you start to lose this state is called as depression is called as a depression so it is going on and you are not worried you are not bothered you are only just left the business like that so that the business goes on receding receding much further where it goes to a state of depression if you don't recover there if you don't start working on again on it if you don't understand the competitor definitely your business you have to close down but if you understand and again start to work on it there is a chance that you may recover so this state we call this to be as recovery this state is called as recovery so you you see students now prosperity one stage recession is one stage depression is one stage and recovery is another stage 
this each stage takes minimum of one year and to complete this all this whole four stages it requires a minimum of five to ten years to this okay minimum of five to ten years this you see in any of these stock markets ups and downs you know, in the company's trading you see open close you'll see sometimes the company's shares will be just going high and high and high and high but starts to recede this goes goes to a lowest level again it comes back this is a, a wave that you will be seeing it it's a wave like thing that will be going on this is a very best example in the stock market this is what it is so oscillatory variations taking place in four stages in time series in a time series taking place in four stages that is prosperity recession depression and recovery is called as cyclical variation best example is the ups and downs or highs and lows of the stock market okay this is what is the third uh, variation now the fourth one what is the fourth one the fourth one is called as irregular variation irregular variation and it is also called as random fluctuation irregular variation or random fluctuation random fluctuation what is this students in a time series data in a time series data right there will be variations there will be variations definitely there variations will be there suddenly at one particular point the variation will be very huge and very huge and it will sustain for a small period of time sustain for a small period of time right and uh, again it comes back to normalcy but again we see just going on suddenly it erupts again it goes highs or it goes low right it changes taking place suddenly sudden unexpected variations taking place in time series is called as irregular variation or random fluctuation sudden unexpected variations taking place in time series is called as irregular variation or random fluctuation very simple example okay so we see the prices of our vegetables say particularly one particular commodity say like onions okay every day you see uh, the price of uh, 1 kg onion is something around 20 rupees you go monday you buy it for 20 rupees you go tuesday again it will be 20 rupees or 21 rupees right i go to th wednesday you see the same thursday you see the same then uh, now friday when it comes it directly shoots up to 60 rupees from 20 rupees it went to 60 rupees Again, the next day you see again it may increase to another 60 rupees or 70 rupees, it may be 70 rupees. It's just increasing, just for a sh increasing. Then you say, why suddenly it is increased? Then there will be a reason. The reason would be somewhere some transporter strike or farmer strike or something happened because of that variation took place. And that will remain in the market not for a long time, only just again when the strike subsides. When the strike is called, when the strike is called off, the prices come down to normalcy. Again, you see again next to Tuesday, you see the prices will come back to again 20, 25, like that. It, it starts to come down. Is it right? So the variation will be very short. Every day you see in a, in any hospital or in any government hospitals or you go to any registers offices, you see on an average every day the same number of people will. You see registers, uh, 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 the number of deaths will be the same number of deaths will be registered. So on an average like 100, in Darwa district 100, 120, 110, like that will be. All of a sudden you see there are 3000 deaths taking place in Darwa district. And there is something, something might have happened. Maybe earthquake might have happened, maybe some building has collapsed, right? Or maybe some uh, floods have come and... Uh, right thrown out everybody right and uh, you know they have lost their lives all these things might have happened so all these are just because some sudden changes takes place like wars if war happens suddenly the prices may go up right strikes happen then uh, tsunamis happen floods happen earthquakes happen variations the data will be there and that variation will be uh, short and it is unpredictable. We cannot predict. When earthquake comes, we cannot predict. 
When tsunami comes, we cannot predict. When strike happens, we cannot predict. Suddenly it happens. Okay. So sudden and unexpected variations taking place in time series is called as what? Irregular variation or random variation. Okay. So these are the four components of time series students. Trend, seasonal variation, cyclical variation and irregular variation. So in our chapter, in this time series, we are not discussing all the three, uh, is, uh, this number two, number three, number four, we don't discuss in detail, but we only speak about the trend. We'll be given with time series data and we only ask to find out the trend, whether it is an upward trend or a downward trend or a steady trend. Based on the trend, we have to predict for the future. That is what we need to do it in this chapter called time series. The main objective is time series data will be given to us. So we need to predict the trend. We need to identify the trend and we need to predict the trend. This is the thing that we need to do. it. Okay. So, so in the next class, I will explain to you about the measurements of trend. Okay. Thank you very much.